What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and you can already see it in the title. Today we are talking about the most realistic Solana price prediction. I'm going to do a little adjustment right here and this adjustment is based on simple math. So we can basically just see okay how Solana has performed over or in this cycle and then we project that till the top of the cycle but I will explain that in detail. But before we are getting started, make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any future update videos because I will do more price predictions just like that. Also for other cryptos you are maybe interested and this way you won't miss it. And I would say let's get straight into the topic right here. Let's start with the explanation. You can see right here I have two dates. The first one is the 18th of May. And the second one is the 31st of August. So that was basically yesterday where, where I have made this Excel sheet. And here the first date, so the 18th of May, here I have the local top of Solana. So that was basically before the big crash that we have seen in May. And there the local top was $59. And exactly at the point where Solana had that $59, the total altcoin market cap was 1.3 trillion and it's very important we are just talking about altcoin market cap you can see that right here that the estimation that we will hit in this cycle is 7 to 10 trillion but in total and we have to subtract the bitcoin market cap here and in case you want to know how i got to this conclusion so how much market cap bitcoin will have then I will link you uh, the most realistic price prediction for Bitcoin right here. There you can see exactly how I got to this conclusion. And to make it short, so the altcoin market cap, if we are subtracting the Bitcoin market cap is then at the top expected to be 5.6 trillion to 8 trillion. And that is why this is so important that we have so that we basically compare here local top and the altcoin market cap. And then we can project that into the future. And I would say let's start right here with the first one. So with basically what has happened before the big crash in May that we had. And here we can see that we had a local top of 1.3 trillion at the exact same day where Solana had its $59 top. And if we then calculate that to the altcoin market cap top, so 5.6 trillion to 8 trillion then we have another 330 to 515 percent increase which means if we are putting that on the price so that means that solana would perform like it did before with the market then we would reach a price here you can see that between 253 dollar 70 and 362 dollar 85 and the average out of that you can see it right here would be 308 dollar and 28 sense and then also we have uh, the current performance right now of course Solana is an absolute outperformer and we can see that right here so 31st of August we had a price in Solana of $108 the total altcoin market cap at that time was 1.2 trillion so we have a higher price than here at the last local top oopsie that was my mouse again and we have a lower altcoin market cap than the last time. So that means of course the increase would is stronger. And we have here you can see that to the top another 366 to 566% increase, which would mean if we put if we are putting that on the price that we could reach $503.28 to $790 and also 28 cents. And the average out of that would be $611.28. But we have to also include right here that these big price increases and also if Solana right now seems to be the first mover with a big new all time high, that this is not something uh, that is constantly just continuing. There are of course also breaks where other coins will perform better and Solana will just go sideways or correct a little and then make the next move. So that is why this right here could be a little high because then we would assume that Solana would continue this what it just did before 
and that would mean that right now it would be outperform the general market and that is of course something that is not likely to continue and that is why I have put these two average prices here together so we have the first average from the local top and the second average where we have right now this huge outperformance compared to the general market and then we have a total average of 459.78 dollars till we are reaching the top and that would be then a market cap of 160.92 billion and a market dominance between 1.61 to 2.3 percent that are the numbers that we are getting right here if we are calculating that and this is of course for the peak of this bull market and very likely this is somewhere around the end of this year so could be november could be december uh, could also be january february but very likely somewhere around the end of the year and i will also link you a video right here where you can see how i get to this conclusion that this is the most likely scenario so from the time perspective that it is the end of the year somewhere around the end of the year and also with the 7 to 10 trillion in the total market cap so this video will be linked right here so you can see that and in the end i also want to say something that is very important in my mind and that is that right now of course we have an estimation of what could be possible in solana if it is doing something in case of its performance between what we are seeing right now and what we have seen before the last market correction so the last big market correction and we have an expectation out of that but of course it is good to have an expectation what is possible but it is much more important to see the whole market because the whole market could start to outperform and solana is not outperforming or solana is even continuing to perform even better and is uh, reaching this price target right here and also is overshooting this and then of course you cannot just make it out of this one point that you have this price expectation or calculation what is possible you have to take a look into the whole market cycle and when the whole market cycle is over or when you can see we are close to the top then it is not the best decision to say okay but my coin has not reached that price target i will not sell now or my coin is reaching that price target way before and i'm selling now and i miss so much more of this bull market so that it is why i think it is very important that you have a uh, a view on the general market where we are in the cycle and that you judge and plan your exit out of that and not just out of a number that is possible to reach so that is something that is also very important in case you want to know my exit strategy then i will also link you the video right here and that's basically it for this video in case there should be any more questions then just feel free to write them down in the comments in case this video was helpful then please leave a like also make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any future videos. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. And as always, have a nice day.